lovelies. So I have some really awesome videos coming up. I just have to put, I have to edit the ones that I already have and I have to put makeup on and get out of my pajamas and I don't want to. So I have been awake at very odd hours. My sleeping schedule is really messed up right now. So I have been doing a lot of watching TV because I'm awake when everybody else is asleep. So Tiffy recommended Jericho. Tiffy, you and I need to have a conversation later because I'm not happy with you. So I started watching it because it's only a season or maybe like two seasons and then like seven episodes. But I was thinking that like sometimes shows know that they're gonna be canceled and then they wrap them up. No ending. Oh my gosh. Like I have no idea what happens. I've been so invested in this show and then all of a sudden it's just over. And it sucks because honestly like I said before in my other obsessions video if it would have come out now it would have been such a hit. But I have to say, I kind of lost interest and stopped paying attention as much as when it got like really, really military type. Not that I don't like that, but I just was so into the characters and I think the characters got lost. And all these other like army people came in and I got like confused. Like, who are you? Are you part of like the army or the like people we dislike? And then they took over the town and then the mayor I was like where was the mayor even why did he come back and I don't know it just seemed like it was winding down so I wasn't like too sad to see it end because I kind of was losing interest a little bit but I just needed that ending but it's very interesting because um Skeet Ulrich is in it and the show was out in like 2006 maybe um, and Skeet Ulrich was like, he, I forget what show he was in. It was something like Party of Five or 90210. It wasn't 90210, but it was something like 90210. And he was like really popular. He was kind of like the Dylan of whatever other show it was. He was like the bad boy kind of. And he kind of tried to play that in this, but... He was just always so sweet in it, so I never kind of got the bad boy vibe that he was supposed to be giving off, so. But he was real sweet, and there was just no closure with him and the girls in his life, and I really wanted that. But there was some closure with um, two characters that I really did like their relationship, although they were kind of like Chris kissing by a grave and I'm not like really into that like they could have like walked a couple steps away before they like made out and like I don't know I'm just not into that kind of like kissing near a, you just buried someone and then you just like start making out but other than that it was really good I really liked it a lot better than like what I've been watching lately um which I had an update on one of them. I feel like it was maybe The Strain. Mm, was it The Strain? One of the shows I've been watching that I kind of like gave a bad review is starting to get better. It's either The Strain or The Lottery. <laughs> I don't remember which. I think it's The Strain because I really was not liking it. But it is really gory. And it is still like really sci-fi-ish. I mean, people's penises fall off. Like, let's just be real. It's kind of, it's really, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. And this is coming from someone that, like, horror movies are my favorite thing. Like, but this is just, I, I, I like gory when it's kind of like, ha, 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 that was funny. And, like, the people, the prosthetics people probably had a lot of fun doing that. But when it's, like, just gory to just be gory, I'm kind of like, I'm just over it. I don't like like sticky messes and like I don't like this kind of gory. This. I like the gory that says, Whoa! That was awesome! 
Um, um, so, yeah, you kind of have to, like, I mean, it's cool. Like, just even their little intro that says, like, the strain, it's pretty cool. Like, the it's, like, in blood and, or I think it's blood. And then there's, like, a little thing that kind of, like, a sticky thing again. You're just kind of like, Bleh! And that's just the intro. So, um, but I have been watching The Nick and that free show is freaking so good. It is very graphic. Um, it's a show, 1850s, I think. That sounds really, the 1850s would like, why did I just say that? That's like ages ago. Like that's like forever ago. I don't know when it takes place. But it's um, the early stages of when they're trying to figure out um, things like childbirth and um, just different medications. And it is so true to the era. Like, it's so cool to see it. Because, like, a lot of um, shows kind of, like, dance around it. But, um, like, the main character, he... Um, is addicted to cocaine and like that was super normal at the time because they didn't know what cocaine was and they used it for all different sorts of things and they show them using all sorts of different like really taboo drugs um, for different things and it's more when they're just starting to show it's like an educational facility so they're just starting to show procedures most of which end in not so great because at the times most people died whenever they had to go under any type of surgery um so it's really cool um very hard hitting very difficult to watch but super good uh, i think there's only three episodes out but i'm gonna start watching um true detectives because i've just heard so many good things about it uh, I'm a little afraid because I feel like it's going to be really graphic and hard to watch, but uh, that's okay. I just, uh, you don't want to, one thing I want to say is that Christian Bale and Matthew McConaughey never ever got their looks back after they dropped all that weight. Um... And I knew it was going to happen to Matthew McConaughey when he had to drop all that weight for his role um, as someone dying of AIDS. And I was just like, oh, crap. Because I think I think he's really attractive in kind of like a weird way. But Christian Bale was the same thing when he was in The Machinist. It was like he just never got his looks back. Like It just always, they kind of just look older than they are. But it was... That was just my random ramblings about my obsession. So I will let you guys know, I'm sure, if I continue to watch True Detectives, if it's good and it's my next obsession. I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. And I'm sending out X-Double O's. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!